Hi there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com. Today I just want to talk to you about being ready. Um, so have you ever had a situation in your life when you are ready for the next phase of your life and um, you're in your head kind of getting to that point where you're realising that you have to move on or that it's the right thing to move on or something within you is just saying that there's a next level for you. Um, but you're kind of in that limbo where you're mind and your heart are having a little bit of a battle and your head is kind of saying well you know you need to get this in place and that in place and, and all these sorts of logical things whereas your heart is just saying you know you need to go on um, and the reason I just want to talk to you about that is because I came to realise today that um, from the situation I'm in I am ready to move on so for those of you who don't know uh, me I uh, I work four days a week, I'm actually a, a cleaner, um, I clean the public bathrooms and I work uh, for a, a garden in North Wales, uh, an 80 acre garden and um, I clean the bathrooms and the eating areas and the staff areas uh, that the staff eat at um, and just sort out the waste. I'm, I'm basically the kind of person who does the clearing up um, if you like and all the other you know bits that we do in the you know, checking the playground over safety that sort of thing so in my head I've told myself that I'm ready to move on and I'm saying oh you know I know there's another level for me and um, this isn't it for me anymore that kind of thing and I realised today that actually I'm not ready to move on and the reason I'm not ready to move on is I realised that because of who I am, I need to develop more personally um, before I will be able to sustain that next level. Um, so, for example, my attitude is not always fantastic. Um, you know, I'm there saying that I'm ready to move on. But the truth is that if I was more dedicated to what I was doing, then that would be me learning to. Um, cope with situations when they're not where I'm not quite where I want to be um, and as well as just learn things like focusing, concentrating um, you know going through the patches that are maybe not that easy emotionally just getting on with the job um, and that would obviously sustain me for the next level so as I say I came to realise that today um, I was also talking with um, a good friend of mine her name is Monique and she um, was talking to me over the weekend she said uh, she is doing a massage course and she said she'd emailed a, a retreat she'd, she's going on her way on a two day retreat where they do lots of meditation and yoga and that sort of holistic uh, therapy and um, she wanted to help out so she offered uh, to be their masseuse and um, she read on an email recently that someone else had got the position and, and she was quite upset that um, and she realised two things from that, she realised that first of all that that was what she really wanted and that the refusal had kind of given her an insight to let her know that that's what she actually really did want because of the way she reacted and also she realised that again she wasn't ready because um, she looked at her situation where she was and she realised that actually although in her head she was a masseuse she was actually still in training, so it wasn't quite the right point. Um, so it's easy to think ahead and it's easy to get tied up on our thoughts. I think when we know there's another level or know there's, there's another opportunity for us, um, our mind's going to fire on ahead as if we're at that point already. Um, but I know, as I say, I haven't quite ticked all the boxes the criteria that's actually needed to sustain that level rather than just reach it. So that's my insight from today and um, I hope it might have helped you in some way. Um, obviously do feel free to comment below as always and of course subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell for those notifications. Um, and of course you can always reach me, I'm here, I'm you know YouTube, Facebook, and I'm also, of course, at my website, pipweekly.com. That's probably the best place to reach me. There is a contact page on there, and that will go straight to my email. Uh, so that is probably the best form of contact. 
as well in there of course. Uh, I've got loads of amazing blogs about lots of different subjects, um, self-awareness, personal development, just to generally helping you overcome any roadblocks that are in your life and which might be holding you back um, and realisations that I've come through um, in my life and I just want to share them and help other people who uh, might not have realised that those things are there and it's those things that are in their mind and actually stopping them from, from being what they want to be and reaching the level that they want to reach. So as I say, that's all from me and until next time, you take care. Bye now.